Oh, hey. I, I just wanted to start this video off with a little intro just to kind of set you guys up for what you're about to see. Uh, I am I hope that you guys are aware I've been working on a little computer science change kind of thing for a while now. And this is the first episode of uh, that project. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Now, get out of here. Get. Go. Go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Ah, damn cat videos every time. You know what, how much time do you waste online? I have no idea, but I'm sure that Google does. Uh, never mind. Well, this is a problem. How can I figure out how much time I am wasting online? Well, because I'm a wannabe computer scientist, I'm gonna try and solve this problem myself using software engineering. I signal up my good friend Super F of X to brainstorm. Now listen, this is what you want to do, alright? You want to write software that automates a digital log. Meaning, you track how much time you're spending with browser windows active, then you record that time to a digital log. It's as easy as school on a Saturday. Of course, that's simple logic. But what if I also want to track productivity and compare the two? Any ideas there? Easy! In the software, just generate a list of software names, and then track window time based on the list of names. Brilliant. Seriously, thanks for your help, Beth. Signal when you need me. I wrote up the software and a week of data collecting goes by, and my results were... a bit disappointing. I was browsing a lot, 4 hours and 54 minutes a day on average, and productive about 4 hours and 6 minutes a day. Now what exactly does this mean? Obviously, we have to make sense of the data. Considering there are about 24 hours in a day, I'm sleeping about 7 of those 24 hours, so that's 17 hours that I'm awake. About 5 of those hours I'm browsing, and 4 of those hours I'm productive, which leaves 8 hours in undefined time. So if this week of data were to represent my entire life, I will have wasted 21% of my life browsing online. Wow. No, I don't think you understand, so let me re-emphasize. If I live until I'm 100 years old, I will have spent 21 years worth of time essentially just looking at cats with laser swords. So problem solved, I guess? I mean, I figured out how much time I'm wasting online, and the more I use the software, the more accurate it gets. So I could end the video now. Psych! You know there's no way I could continue living life knowing that if I hit 100 years old, I would have wasted enough time that I can legally drink alcohol and drive. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Not those two things at the same time. Friends, please do not drink and drive. Ever, ever, ever. Anywho, this is a new problem to me. How can I reduce my 21% browsing time? I signal up Super F of X for another brainstorming session. Yo F, thanks for that last solution man, but I have a new problem. I'm wasting way too much of my life browsing the internet. Any ideas on how to reduce my browsing time? Well, you could write simple software that when running will always kick you off the internet, leaving you high and dry like a fish in the ocean on a rainy day. Yeah, that'll do. But can I also get the software to yell at me to get back to work when it catches me trying to use the internet? I don't care man, you're writing it, not me. See ya! Immediately, I wrote and tested the software. Get off of Chrome and get back to work. Making sure that the software yelled at me was super important for helping me get my life back together. Hashtag my computer wears the pants in this relationship. Another week of data collecting goes by and the results this time were... Better? I think. My browsing time was reduced to 2 hours and 6 minutes a day, which was exactly what we wanted, so problem solved. But my productivity only jumped up to 4 hours and 48 minutes. That's only like a 15% increase. Back to our pie chart. Awake for 17 hours a day, browsing for 2 of those, productive 5 of those, which leaves 10 hours of undefined time. What the hell am I doing in these extra 10 hours a day? Alright, well, we've done enough problem solving for today. In conclusion, even though both solutions solved their respective problems, and listen, I hear you, it was only two weeks of data collecting, I know, but I'm just trying to run a YouTube channel here, alright? 
The data is telling us that maybe this whole time we should have been focusing more on reducing the undefined time and turning it into productivity because it appears that we only reduced the browser time and turned it into more undefined time for the most part. But I mean, this software doesn't collect data outside of my one device, so undefined time also includes some productivity time and a little browser time for my mobile devices, and you get the point. It's not the perfect solution, but I mean, whatever. Better that we have something to work with than nothing, right? So how can you figure out how much time you're wasting? online by downloading my online browser time software on the link at the top of the description. And how can you help reduce your browser time? By downloading my Get Back to Work software at the top of the description as well. And break loop. All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed today's episode. And if you download and use this software, please share your results with me on Twitter and Instagram at Stuff is my handle. And I'd love to see how productive you guys are. And if you're more productive than I am, be ready to share your advice with me. <laughs> Anyways, here are my afterthoughts. So when I produced this episode, I did it based on two weeks of data collecting. But since I started collecting data to now, it's been 50 days. So here's what I've learned. On a daily average, my undefined time is about 15 hours or 60% of my day, you know, seven to eight, maybe even six of that is sleeping, but the 15 hours stays relatively consistent across the board on average. And the other 40% is shared between my online time and productive time for the most part, which it actually makes sense because that 40% is nine hours, which I guess on average I work nine hours a day, which it seems like I work a lot more than that. I mean, you can't fight the data, right? And I think it's important to take this 50 days with a grain of salt because I didn't really use my get back to work software during this time period, mostly just for that second week. And then after that, I, you know, a day or two or three, I, I used it. So eh, it's a little difficult to tell how helpful that software actually is at the moment. Although we do know based on one week of data collecting, it does help in that range. So I don't know. And lastly, I think that our conclusion of converting undefined time to productive time was pretty spot on because a 60% undefined time for the last 50 days doesn't really change that much. And so we'd have to find some way to convert the undefined time into productivity time, which is a solution for a whole other day. But yeah, again, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope you enjoy the software, but whatever the case may be, remember to always feed your curiosity.